This is a tutorial which shows how to manage a particular email at your domain name using a Gmail account. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to your settings section. If you don't know how to do that, the way you do is you log into your Gmail account and then in the upper right corner, right underneath the thumbnail photo, you'll see a little gear. It's a little box with a gear inside. Go ahead and click that. This is your settings area. So in the drop down, click on settings and it'll bring you to where we are now. And you'll notice there is words in bold that says send mail as. In some Gmail accounts, it might say add an email alias, depending on what version of Gmail you're using. So in this case, it's a send mail as, and I want to add another email account. So it says add another email address that you own, or it doesn't say that you, but it says you own. Um, so in this case, I'm going to put uh, the name. And then I'm going to type in the entire email address that I would like to add. Once you've done that, click treat as alias. And then if you want that to be your reply to address as well, leave as is. And then click on next step. And what this is going to do is send an email to that email address at your domain name. So once it does that, you'll need to log in to your webmail or however else you access your email at your domain name, and then click on the link that's inside of the verification email. Um, and before, actually before you do that, make sure you also click on here, send verification, so that way it will send it. You'll see this screen here, which says, click on the link in the confirmation email. You do that from your actual email account using webmail, or you can ask the person that it is sent to, what is the confirmation code in that email? And you'll just type it into here and click on verify. Once you've done that, it will add that particular email address to your listings and it'll tell you whether or not it is verified yet. And if it says unverified, you'll just need to take the steps that I just mentioned to verify it and you'll be all good. There are also settings for you to make it the default email email for your Gmail account if you would like to. Otherwise, the way that it would work is when you press compose under this drop down next to from, you can select which email address that you would like to send the email from. And that's a tutorial of how to add an alias or another email address to your Gmail account. If you like this video, please do subscribe to see others, or you can always request in the comments other videos that you would like to see. Thanks.